The China-Brazil Earth Resources Satellite Program is a technological cooperation program between Brazil and China which develops and operates Earth observation satellites. History The basis for the space cooperation between China and Brazil was established in May 1984, when both countries signed a complementary agreement to the Cooperation Framework Agreement in Science and Technology. In July 1988, China and Brazil signed the protocol establishing the joint research and production of the China-Brazil Earth Resources Satellites CBERS. Brazil, emerging from a long military regime, sought to abandon the Cold War logic and establish new international partnerships. China was dedicated to its great internal reform, but was also seeking international partnerships to develop advanced technologies. The agreement was advantageous for both countries. Brazil had the chance to develop medium-sized satellites at a time when it was only capable of building small ones 100 kg size. China had an international partner that posed no military threats and that was receptive of foreigners. Brazil and China negotiated the CBERS project during two years 1986 to 1988, exchanging important technical information and visiting each other's facilities, and they concluded that both sides had all the human, technical and material conditions to jointly develop an Earth Resource Observation Satellite Program. The Complementary Protocol on Cooperation on Space Technology was renewed in 1994 and again in 2004. Topic. Responsible agencies In Brazil, the Instituto Nacional de Pesquisas Espaciais INPE or National Institute of Space Research and the Brazilian Space Agency Portuguese, Agencia Espacial Brasileira AEB, are involved with the program, as is the Brazilian industrial sector. In China, organizations involved include the China Academy of Space Technology a sub-entity of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, the China National Space Administration and various other organizations. Topic. Satellites Initially the program included development and deployment of two satellites, CBERS-1 and CBERS-2. Subsequently, agreement was reached to include three additional satellites, CBERS-3, 4 and 4B. Topic. CBERS-1 and CBERS-2 The first satellite of the series, CBERS-1, was successfully launched on October 14, 1999 on a Long March 4B. It is sometimes also called ZY-1. It remained functional until August 2003. The second satellite, CBERS-2, was successfully launched on October 21, 2003 by a Long March 4B rocket from China. It was retired from service in January 2009, after the launch of CBERS-2B. Topic. Configuration CBERS-1 and 2 are identical satellites. They have three remote sensing multispectral cameras. Wide Field Imager Camera, WFI. This camera records images in two spectral bands, 0, 63 to 0, 69 micrometers red and 0, 77 to 0, 89 micrometers infrared, with 260 meters spatial resolution and 890 kilometers of ground swath. About five days are necessary for a whole coverage of the Earth's surface. Medium Resolution Camera CCD. 
This camera records images in five spectral bands, 0, 51 to 0, 73 micrometers panchromatic, 0, 45 to 0, 52 micrometers blue, 0, 52 to 0, 59 micrometers green, 0, 63 to 0, 69 micrometers red, 0, 77 to 0, 89 micrometers near infrared, with 20 meters spatial resolution and 120 kilometers of ground swath. It is possible to operate this camera both on nadir and off nadir. This last capability allows the system to reduce the temporal resolution from 26 days nadir operation mode to 3 days off nadir operation mode. Infrared multispectral scanner camera IRMSS. This camera records images in four spectral bands, 0, 52 1, 10 micrometers panchromatic, 1, 55 2 1, 75 micrometers infrared, 2, 0, 8 2, 35 micrometers infrared and 10, 40 to 12, 50 micrometers thermal infrared, with 80 meters spatial resolution on the three infrared reflected bands and 120 meters in the thermal infrared one. Ground swath is 120 km for all the bands of this camera and 26 days are required to obtain a full coverage of the Earth by this camera. CBERS-2B CBERS-2B was launched on 19 September 2007 by a Long March 4B rocket from the Taiyuan base in China. The satellite operated until June 2010. Sample images from CBERS-2B were made available on January 10, 2007. CBERS-2B is also similar to the two previous members of the series, but a new camera was added to the last satellite, High Resolution Panchromatic Camera (HRC). This camera records images in one single panchromatic band 0, 50 to 0, 80 micrometers which comprises part of the visible and of the near-infrared portion of electromagnetic spectrum. The images recorded by this camera are 27 kilometers width and have 2.7 meters spatial resolution. 130 days are required to obtain a full coverage of the Earth by this camera. Topic. CBERS-3 and CBERS-4 CBERS-3 was launched in December 2013, but was lost after the Chong Jung 4B rocket carrying it malfunctioned. The identical CBERS-4 satellite was successfully launched in December 2014. Both satellites carry four cameras. Advanced Wide Field Imager Camera AWFI. This camera records images in four spectral bands, 0, 45 to 0, 52 micrometers blue, 0, 52 to 0, 59 micrometers green, 0, 63 to 0, 69 micrometers red, 0, 77 to 0, 89 micrometers near infrared, with 60 meters spatial resolution and 720 kilometers of ground swath. About five days are necessary for a whole coverage of the Earth's surface. Infrared Multispectral Scanner Camera IRMSS. This camera records images in four spectral bands, 0, 52 1, 10 micrometers panchromatic, 1, 55 2 1, 75 micrometers infrared, 2, 08 2, 35 micrometers infrared and 10, 40 to 12, 50 micrometers thermal infrared, with 40 meters spatial resolution on the three infrared reflected bands and 80 meters in the thermal infrared 1. Ground swath is 120 km for all the bands of this camera and 26 days are required to obtain a full coverage of the Earth by this camera. Panchromatic and Multispectral Camera PANMUX. This camera records images in four spectral bands, 0, 51 to 0, 73 micrometers panchromatic, 0, 45 to 0, 52 micrometers blue, 0, 52 to 0, 59 micrometers green, 0, 63 to 0, 69 micrometers red, 0, 77 to 0, 89 micrometers near infrared, with 5 meters spatial resolution for the panchromatic band and 10 meters spatial resolution in the other bands. 
It has 60 km of ground swath. It is possible to operate this camera both on nadir and off nadir. Topic. CBERS-4A CBERS-4A is expected to be launched in 2019.